On the 15th of March, the WHO announced a worldwide alert. A deadly contagious virus had escaped Asia and reached the West. The alert was something the WHO had never done before. The mystery virus was now declared an official threat to everyone on the planet. 305 cases, but that the epidemic was now being controlled. Then came more worrying news. The mystery illness had apparently crossed into Hong Kong, killing two people. What made this so disturbing is that Hong Kong is a gateway to the rest of the world. 25 new cases in Hong Kong, 26 in Vietnam, and Singapore was added to the list. The virus attacks the patient's lungs, making them inflamed and causing them to produce liquid. The liquid then fills the lungs and the patient effectively drowns. Doctors experimented with steroids to help slow this process. If the steroids fail, one last resort remains. Patients are put on a ventilator. A severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. SARS mainly spreads like the common cold. You cough and someone inhales it. It means the simple policy of wearing protective clothing and putting people into isolation should defeat SARS. But despite all their precautions, the disease was still spreading. By the 20th of March, SARS had reached the US, Taiwan and Britain. And a disturbing statistic was emerging. SARS killed about 4% of its victims, one in 25. And then came a series of hammer blows. First, China announced it had been lying. It didn't have 40 SARS cases, but nearly 400. And then came a report that the SARS death rate was not 4%, but twice as deadly, nearly one in 10. Panic mounted. And then, unexpectedly, it all calmed down, for one simple reason. The WHO's tactics were finally starting to work. The epidemic was brought under control by mass quarantine and the strictest precautions. Horrible though it is, SARS is not the killer outbreak of the WHO war plan. It was a dress rehearsal, not the real thing. <laughs>